Hello there, everybody. What, you expected me to say something along the lines of howdy? Or, or y'all? No. You think I would make a bunch of cowboy jokes on such a momentous occasion in Undertale history? The answer is I absolutely am going to, but I decided to have a bit more class for the first 15 seconds. <laughs> howdy humans, it's me, Rybread2, once again, here. And uh, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of background. So I've been... I was a big Undertale fan from, like, um, the, the the year the game first released. I had originally discovered it uh, watching Game Grumps. They played it. And I was hooked for a good, good while ever since. Hi again, CC. <laughs> Don't worry, I caught you. I caught you. I caught you both times. <laughs> but, um, anyways. Um, so I've been a fan, like, since, like, the game, like, first came out. And I was part of the community, because the game, like, I, I, like, it really, like, uh, resonated with me. And I followed the community for a while. I had, like, my own Undertale AU Sprite comic. It was a Kirby crossover under Puff. I won't talk too much about it, because that isn't the point of this. I did link it in the Discord. If anyone wants to check that out, I'll go ahead and uh, shill the Discord real quick. There we go. <laughs> So if y'all really want to look at it, there you go, it's in there. But, um, I was a big part of the community. Well, I, I was a big fan of the community. Big parts of it, uh, of, of an overstatement. I, uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't that popular. I had a following. In fact, I think I had a bigger following than I do right now as a Twitch streamer, but, um, I, I definitely was very present in it. And... I have seen Undertale Yellow from the first, like, Reddit post that was made, like, asking for, like, hey, does anyone want to, like, make this game with me? And I'll be honest, I didn't think this game was ever going to get finished. And just, like, it just kind of popped into my Twitter feed one day. I was like, oh, shit, Undertale Yellow actually got finished. And there's, like, a decent chance I knew, like, a good chunk of people. Who have uh, worked on this game, and I thought it'd just be like a good idea to just like download it, play it on stream, and yeah, just kind of celebrate the occasion and walk back down uh, memory lane of a series that made a big impact on me and uh, was kind of my first foray, foray, for four way. No, 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 not that word, not that word, foray into. <laughs> into uh content creation in some way shape or form uh but yeah <laughs> that, that that's a little history lesson and kind of why i've been really excited for this stream in particular more than others feels weird that we weren't friends yet when undertale was being talked about a lot yeah my uh my political phase came after my undertale phase <laughs> And now I'm in my VTuber phase. Will there be a phase after this? I do not know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see what... It, let's go ahead and just get on over to it, because I'm very excited. Go ahead, turn off the music, as always. I haven't booted the game up yet, because it starts with an intro sequence, and I wanted to react to that, too. So I just... I made sure everything was working. In fact, I'm going to scroll down to the game audio part of OBS and make sure it still works fine. Please do. Okay, so that's working. But it's not capturing. Oh, there it is. Music of monsters have been sealed by a powerful spell. Let me turn this down a lot, Jesus. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Ah, uh, the sprite art here is really good. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. But eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Turn it down just a little more. Mount Ebot. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did, were never seen again.
There he is. The Yeehaw Tail Protagonist. Uh, I'll refrain from making too many Yeehaw jokes. Because I'm sure the devs don't like that all too much. I'll explain the context for that once the intro's over. Ah. Uh, man. It's so cool to see that. But yeah, long story short, uh, one person made, like, a fucking, like, Reddit thread about, um, what if Frisk in normal Undertale just constantly said yeehaw to everything. And, uh, yeah, when Undertale yellow rolled around after that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Always allow retry, auto sprint, auto fire, and we'll just get rid of that. So Z or Y to enter, shift to cancel, C or control for the in-game menu. F4 is full screen. I think I'll just stick to, uh, I think I'll stick to windowed. Windowed is easier for me when I stream. Speaking of which, let me pull back this, pull this back up. There we go. Yeah, mouse does show up on there. Good to know. <laughs> Hold escape to quit. When HP is zero, you lose. So, fun fact about me, um, I never actually played Undertale. <laughs> I know, I was part of the community, I made a fucking AU, but I was never part, I never actually played the game. Because by the time I was actually, like, able to play the game, because my old PC couldn't even run the demo. The PC I grew up with, the laptop at my house, couldn't even run the demo. <laughs> <laughs> So by the time I was actually able to play, I knew like everything about the game, and I was just like, oh, I'll just, I'll just stick to this. <laughs> so yeah, I never actually played Undertale. I know like everything about it, but I never played the game myself because my laptop growing up was shit. Don't give me those question marks, Meryl. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh shit! All right, we're already in it. We are going to go for Pacifist first. Obviously. They did a great they did a great job on the soundtrack. Mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. Ugh. Ah, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You are the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. But yeah, uh, fucking... We'll see about making this like a long-term playthrough. <laughs> I mean, we do have Link's Awakening as well, which is kind of the issue. I mean, after I finish, uh, I mean, we're gonna finish Saint next week. So maybe, because we're gonna marathon Saint next week. So maybe with Rain World concluded, we can start pecking away at this. Runes are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. I do like that they've gone out of their way to maintain, like, the look of Toby's original sprite work. Because it, it, like, makes it more immersive in, like, its own way. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Eh, yeah, let's read the sign anyway, you never know. Press Z to read signs. Glad they kept that. Stay on the road. See, that's what my driving instructor told me. But crashing in the trees is really fun. I'm proud of you, my child. Oh no, my child. That is the wrong switch. I've labeled the one you need to flip. Yeah, I'm gonna be that player. It should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. I oh, don't worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. 
Now, you see, I remember this because I'm pretty sure they released the demo of the game, and I think I watched it. I don't remember, like, anything from it except for this opening sequence, though. Are you all right? Oh, dear. I'm afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Pet not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. So nice, you gotta say it thrice. Or twice. I think it was only twice. Oh no! My piece of paper! Here. Here. Whole thing right here. I read the sign. The sign is obscured by leaves. Only a few words are visible. Caution. X. Run. They added a fucking run button. Let's go. <laughs> Does it behave like Pokemon where I'm le more likely to encounter monsters this way? Oh god, it's him. It's the bastard. <laughs> you look confused. Toriel ought to have taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little me will have to do then. Ready? Here you go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. I like this theme they gave Flowey. Your LV represents your love. It's... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Sorry about that. Let's try again. Here they come. Dodge them all. I'm being that player. What are you doing? Dodge the bullets. Don't mess it up this time. Sticko, are you doing this on purpose? Fine, I'll just stop sending them then. Since you're so bad at dodging bullets, I can save your progress for you. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. That way, it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me, and I'll save for you, just like I saved for you now. There's one more thing. The king of all monsters, Asgore, he's been killing humans. <laughs> the only way out is killing him, and well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much, though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps around here. And some of the monsters in this place. I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck. Flowey just straight up... It's like you got it, then. Uh, does that heal me? It does. Okay. Is it because they're both yellow? Um, well, I think they're going for the angle they're going for here. Is this is before Azriel like, uh, fucking, like, gave up and got, like, nihilistic as hell? I think that's the angle they're going for. So this is him, like, still trying to feel something. Still attempting. And you can kind of, I think they did a really good job of his dialogue. It so much sounds like he's just, like, he's trying the character because he's just like, oh, yeah, Asgore, uh, he's killing humans. Yeah, that's, that's kind of bad. Hmm. I think they did a really good job on that. Is he, though? Don't you do that to me, Meryl. <laughs> Flyer is giving fighting a try. Criticize. Uh, comfort. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. You're right. Something needs to change. Your sine waves have no effect on me. Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. There we go. Let's see here. 
the sign. It says exposition in large friendly letters. Stuck? Press this for a do-over. Or don't. Make what is dim bright. Make what is dark light. Oh, God. Comfort. I this really isn't me. Oh, fuck. There we go. Hm. Okay. There we go. Private property, no trespassing. So I don't know if you haven't heard, but some people mm -hmm. say private property is theft. They are communists, and as a stereotypical cowboy, I probably do not like them. <laughs> Happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No, too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know. I had no choice. It must be this way. I know who you're talking to. Huh? Who? I, I must be seeing things. Get back here! Are you paying land tax on this property? Canilla. Oh, she's so adorable. Reminds me of a uh, Drasha, or more specifically, Paintra from Kirby. That's Asgore. That is not Asgore. I don't think it's Asgore. He's pretty skinny to be Asgore. Uh, compliment. Looks a little uncomfortable. You're just saying that because you feel obligated. God, stopping me. Alfield is covered in eraser shavings. Put your, you put yourself in between Penilla and her work. I have been at this for a while. <laughs> We're literally telling her, them to go to bed. Penilla is packing up her art supplies for the day. So you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. What's up here? That looks like progress. What's over here? Not progress. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand. Five gold a glass. Take some? Pour yourself a glass, but there is no attendant to take your money. What poor service. Leave a tip? How much? Your conscience feels light as a feather. Sweet corn hops up excitedly. Constantly on a sugar rush. Remember, I always love you. Then why are you firing missiles at me? I know why. I know the lore reason why. Hmm. Uh, hug? Big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. I'm feeling the love. Too easy. I need sands already. Hmm. I need megalovania. In the Sands fight in Area 1, please. So good at nazes. Uh, Penilla seems to be dreading this battle. Fuck. Uh. Oh, this is brutal. Was I just unlucky there? I 
think I'm literally just getting unlucky. The pencil hurts me too. Remember what I said. Pretend I didn't say it. Uh, an aid heal seven doesn't smell too appetizing. Just gonna casually get the fuck out of here. Like that. Okay, now you're on double time or something. I don't know. I wasn't reading. Just too busy trying to not die. Oh shit, candy corn. It's a rejected piece of candy corn. It doesn't deserve to be. Candy corn's good. Y'all were here on Monday. At least some of you were. Y'all know the truth. Candy corn's good. <laughs> No bully. Sorry, don't bully the fucking candy corn. Candy corn's good, your taste buds are just broken. Hmm. Take a break. Oh shit. This is what I get for not playing original Undertale. Damn it! The corn comes out of nowhere acting excited. Oh god. Ah. I really put myself in a corner there, but it worked out. Let me out. Eh. Friend, I planted these for you. Isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightened mine. I haven't been in a corn maze in fucking ages, dude. I'd like to. Do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. Can you show me how to jump across this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. And no more doubles. Suppose I could use a break. Yeah. I'm glad that this is a very generous hitbox. Fuck. 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 <laughs> Sweet dodge. Wait, how the fuck did I turn on Christmas colors? Hold up. There you go. <laughs> I have it set to zero. I think. What do I have it set to? I don't know. I don't know how I turned those on. <laughs> that battle theme is banging, though, for real. Cat. Roarum. Funny name. Adjust. Warm scenes, please. Looking good. Oh, hello. Warm for the flex on his current circumstances. God damn it. He did four to me, didn't he? You now know why it was discarded. Fuck off! It's good! Like what you see? Fucking Clover has no goddamn taste. Slight smile, Roram smiles back. I also are never out of style. Or 
form mimics your movements. You critique your appearance. Rorm is very pleased. You look perfect. Next big project. Well, I found the easy way to dodge his attacks. There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a cat or... One clap. Well, I'm not sure if that was caught on mic, but hopefully it was. Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. <laughs> all the monsters are all quiet and lurking. It's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon. Oh, the smoke. My lungs. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Kana. Hmm. Desabat makes his presence known. Missing his quiet solitude. Don't move, don't make a sound. Hush, hush, hush. That's bad as whispering something too quiet to hear. Watch this bat in silence, he seems to appreciate it. Move in silence, hush, hush. Slightly more at ease. Whispers only, please. Hush, hush, hush. That gives you a nod of approval. More quiet, please. That's about as enjoying the silence. Not sure if I'll live. You hear that? No. Good. Oh, fuck. I thought he was going to do the sound wave attack. Quite the permanent solution, eh? Too bad I can undo it. Haha. <laughs> L number one. Fuck off. <laughs> Watch. If I can get through Rain World bullshit, I can get through this. Gives you a nod of approval. Or quiet, please. That's about as enjoying the silence. I'm about to take another L. You hear that? No, good. That's bad as being lulled to sleep. That's the bad as ready to return to sleep. What was that? I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep the peace and order here. We'll go conquer new lanes in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Let's go, uh, heal again. Real quick. You're already saved. Let's get a move on. But am I healed? No. Then shut up. Look, I know he established me as a masochist who wants to hurt themselves, but I just did that for the funny. Oh, lovely. Patty, you seem to be doing well. Only one death. See, aren't you glad to have me around? It's great to be such a needed friend. He's trying so hard. 
He's trying so hard to feel something. Ooh, a Quispy Scroll. Quispy Scroll. Transform! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and this is to go even further beyond! Crispy Scroll can't believe that just happened. Oh, come on, bro. We went Super Saiyan together. Wait, do I have to do it longer? Like the transformation? Oh god, he literally- he's literally using Kamehameha's! Fuck! <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Yell, you join Creepy Scroll and is excited yelling. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? Fuck! The came Ham Hamaha. Yell. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Oh god. The anime sword slices. He has preached super crispy scroll 2K. That was funny. That was actually really funny. I love that enemy. <laughs> the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? Alright, now we do this one. I'm so fucking good. And that was totally intentional, not me just bullshitting. Jostle the gate, it doesn't budge. Okay. Well, if I wanted to look over here first, hmm? Okay. I refuse to teach any of my Pokemon Flash, so this is going to be our life. I seem to recall what I saw so often. But I remember it, it seems, is now forgotten. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. So then, never mind, I guess. <laughs> A stray feather. Take it. You got a stray feather. Feather. Armor defense to an old forgotten feather. It needs a good preening. Stick the feather into your hat. It gives you a proud feeling. Didn't I eat the candy corn? Or am I delusional? Your teeth hurt just looking at it. It's good! Candy corn is good. Fuck you. Why is there a two there? It's iconic, but why is it there? Hello. He's sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. Hi, sir. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Ah. Um. I don't know who you are, but I ask you. Please leave. Count to five. I don't get it. Property of Dalv, that monster in the cloak, no trespassing. Howdy. Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer, then you're out of the room. See you on the other side, pal. There's corn on the cobweb. But if I want it... Don't step on the flowers. Whoops. There's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it. Obtain the corn dog. down here. That should open that gate.
Yeah, go ahead and berate me. What? You scared of the doom and gloom guy? Look, you just gotta fight your way through him. He'll go down easy. In case you haven't noticed, he really won't be missed, so go get him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Flowey. I know you have no soul, but goddamn. Nice water. Is it yours? Still following me? I thought I made it clear I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You, you look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting, or have you come to finish the job? Feeding here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. You're also kind of blocking the exit. What? <laughs> I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind, words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Only one thing to do. Take a sip of Zevia. How did I turn them on again? What is my hotkey for this? Hold on. And not that. B? Shift? Left shift? L uh, right control. It's right control. Right control is what keeps doing it. In the middle of helping baking. What I mean is there are other cracks of other numbers that you missed. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Mm. What you baking, Merle? You baking cookies? Baking cookies? You baking cake? Baking a fruit cake? I love Dal from Adventure. That's literally what he looks like. I was wondering what I was thinking about. What he reminded me of. Check. Wants to be left alone. I suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for both of us. Cookie? What kind of cookie? Chocolate chip? White macadamia? You're not some sickle that likes oatmeal raisin, are you? More conflict with his more humane sign. Dav does not seem to value communication. Where did you come from, anyways? There aren't any accessible entrances. Fuck. That was bad. Sorry to plant this scene in your head this early on, but the character artist is not beating the Adventure Time fan artist allegations. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. All I know is that somehow you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Oh no. Dav assumes an intimidating facade. Dav doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. Also, sour, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking bop, by the way. I first thought regular show. That is not regular show. Regular show did not have eyes like that. And the monsters, did you pass through them as well? Not that I care too much to keep up with their activity. Oh god, he's got the silly string. Fuck. Conflict is more humane side. Also, I love the background flashes during lightning. I know, that's such a good touch. Close to Muscle Man? Muscle Man doesn't have eyes like that, though. I mean... Yeah, no. I don't see regular show. Everything but the eyes. I'm still not seeing it. I guess the hair kind of? And the body... That body for Muscle Man. <laughs> that body for Muscle Man. Well, we know CC doesn't body shame. For some reason, I was giving this guy his voice. <laughs> this region is the ruins of my home. You know who else has a home? 
My mom! <laughs> oh god, oh god. That was seems an intimidating facade. <laughs> But it seems if you never got the memo. That or you're purposefully ignoring my wishes. Adventure Time feels like it'd give this guy a higher pitched voice, maybe like Sweet Pea. Maybe. But what's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Why is this one so big? Or is he or is that to indicate that he's like showing more mercy by giving you more room to wiggle? But that feels too baby and not I've been down here a while. I know you aren't a phantom, but could it be that? No, it is impossible. Dalb takes a break to brush off his cloak. You... You look so helpless. Different. Is it a front? Dalb seems to be dreading his next attack. No, you aren't trying to hurt me. You, you aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize, I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how I can make things right right now. You want me to... shake your hand? Even after wrongfully attacked you? But that is... a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human, let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Uh, put it there, partner. <laughs> hmm. What do friends do, actually? You want to, um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have time. Oh, I love how his house looks. I have to, um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. He's so dapper. I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. He look vampire. Yeah, I think uh, everything from the cloak to uh, his music to his room to his everything indicated a little bit of a vampire. <laughs> uh. The sponge covered in frosting. Take it, yes. Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. A small table for one sits in the corner. You can't help but notice it's fine craftsmanship. You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside of this place, so I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyways. It might not be as educational, though. A little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. It's a flower pot full of dirt. That's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. 
He's really taking his time, but I don't rush him. The intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his face? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. Are you ready to leave? Leave Dow's house? No. Alright, take as long as you like. He said Pops. Listen here, buddy. I am vindicated. No, you aren't! <laughs> This man does not look like he is from regular show. <laughs> Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. He has the voice. That is not... A f if I had more of a chat, I would activate a poll. <laughs> How many people are even watching right now? Three? That's not enough. I need I need a vast major I need a vast majority of people to prove you wrong. <laughs> Meryl, you decide. We already know what Meryl decided. They decided that he's he's from regular show. I mean, Adventure Time. Shut up. I'm getting the shows confused. It's two to one right now, but that ain't enough. That isn't a high enough sample size. I took a statistics class. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, I keep finding corn sitting on my doorstep. I can 2v1 you guys. Can you? Every morning it was just there. I know it was leaving it, but technically you did 2v1 us in Smash and you lost. I think. I don't remember if we did free for all or 1v1 though. In your dreams. <laughs> Somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down here. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Let's see here. Little table with built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Stop showing up, pensive. Can I not go in there? Let me in your room. Oh. Let's look at something else, okay? Broom's worth. <laughs> We all, well, we all know when Dalv gets married, he's gonna make sure to have the broom as his groom. <laughs> yes, that's the way, what you want, I'll lead the way. Mm. Oh, dude, did they even do the little, like, uh, oh, never mind. I thought they were doing, like, the little thing where, like, the uh, path got, like, darker and darker in the original Undertale the further up you went. I was like, oh, shit, are they doing that? But now nah, this is, like, one tier of darkness. This is the groom. Now, listen here. I'm lonely as shit, and I don't know exactly how weddings work. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking of groom as best man. But you know what? He's still a broom for a groom, so the the joke still applies. Very delirious and tired, always. <laughs> I don't remember information correctly. Thank you for everything. You have really helped me out. I was here for five minutes. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. There's a groom who marries the bride and the best man is at his side unless you're gay, I guess. <laughs> Dalv could be Dalv could be gay. We don't know. He'll be bi. Tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up. I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talent show. I can publish my novel. Have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. Suck in more ways than one AO. <laughs> What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. <laughs> the corn, man. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. 
I've eaten corn every day for a year and I'm doing moderately okay. <laughs> Uh, this is how Dalv is gonna find his love, not being the, being the corn man like a milkman. Hopefully, he doesn't get in trouble with that though. Man cooped up alone with do not disturb signs and making kids books. That's arrow as fuck in my opinion. Also true. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, it seems the eggs is blocked off. Let's see. Swole vampire. There we go. You're all set. Oh, and before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me? Clover. What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. That is starting soon. Let's see if we can't get to the obligatory next title screen. Hey, look, there it is. Oh, there we are. I'm going to go ahead, pause the game right there. And we're going to take a short break. Y'all go ahead, stand up, stretch, get some water, get some snacks, whatever y'all humans need to do, as always. And bye, G, bye, golly. Bye, yee-haw. And bye, miss, miss, um, appropriating exactly what the groom is at a, in a wedding. Y'all have a good one.
we return once again. Hey there, hello everybody. I forgot to turn this off, I didn't realize. There we go. Usually I remember, but that time was an exception, I suppose. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone had a good break. I know Merle said this is their break, but you know what? <laughs> you get two. You get two breaks. And if you're like Circuit yesterday, you get uh, two minutes of Mayo ads. That's what happened to him yesterday. Twitch is trying to tell him something. Ooh, I like this music. I love pianos in snowy areas. <laughs> Clover. Last name Clover. <laughs> Just like Mario Mario. Luigi Mario. Howdy. Congratulations on being rid of those old runes for good. You couldn't even go even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. You won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. Now let's get moving before my petals freeze. Snowed in yellow music. It's so good. <laughs> Hot to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't bud. It's gun hat. I'm so tempted. It's so tempted. It's so tempting. Gun hat. <laughs> I'm debating. I want it to be gun hat so badly. <laughs> okay, one of the few times I'm gonna ask, Meryl, are there any actual repercussions for me going with gun hat? Like, genuine repercussions, because you definitely know more about the game than I do right now. Meryl, please. I need to know if there's genuine repercussions for this. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm all right. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Swear to God, Meryl. You're betraying me. It is? Well, gun hat, enough talk. <laughs> well, see ya. <laughs> Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area, a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you'll even need the save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Just get out there. Delta Rock. Oh, shit. Delta Rune Chapter 3? Finally? Touch it. It was just some dirt on the snow. You wipe off your hand in this, on a suspicious carving in the rock face. at all these conveniently placed bridges. I love Gun Hat because it's definitely a dreamerism to have piss poverty naming skills. <laughs> Pull up. Just for this area. Just for this area, I'm doing it. Wait, did it work? Yeah, it worked. All right. <laughs> I guess, I guess that um that one needs a little bit of a tweaking. It worked fine. It worked fine when I tested it out. I didn't realize it would be that delayed. <laughs> Igloo. What's the land value? I don't know. I don't know what the land value is. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, uh, this is a privately owned home. It still has a land value. Frostermit. Compliment. It's an igloo. Thanks, I mean igloo. Tis the season, what can I say? Something smells fishy. It's just an igloo. It's just an igloo. Wait, did you say that already? Igloo. There's an igloo here. Dance. You do a little dance. Something has to come out. Someone has come out to investigate. I love him! I love him! 
I don't care if he's hitting me. I love him. Put me more often. Of course. Anything for you. Cross term is ready to scuttle on its way. I want to ask you the land value once you finish this fight. Let's see here. Um, he's pretty far away from any, like, actual, like, civilization. However, his home is also, like, movable. So, technically, that makes his home an improvement. So, in the grand scheme of things, he's not paying any land tax. Now, if he wanted to, now if he wanted to uh, close off a certain area of land solely for themselves, then we'd have issues. But I think as it is right now, he wouldn't pay any kind of land value tax. You could argue he would need to pay something for like the resources, but that's like harder to track and shit. And technically, like, I don't know, man. My brain, my brain ain't in the mode to uh, determine this 100% right now. Mm. We'll just say zero for now. Technically part of himself, too. Also true. But yeah, nah. He's fine. No, technically, like... Technically, the land value tax... Like, any resource value would be garnered from wherever he got the snow from. And if they have that... Like... If they're, like, selling him the igloo parts. Potentially. So, like, that's built into their land tax that they already have. But if he just grabbed it, I suppose there's nothing really stopping him from that. At least not in a way that, like, it, it, it would just be, like, way too much. It really isn't. It's, like, too much work. Tax that for any gain. So, yeah, no. Nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> Zero or very small amount, like a cent. Yeah, exactly. Because land is also, like, resources and stuff. But that really only factors into, like, oil and shit. Not really, not really something as specific as that. So, he is fine. They are fine. To be honest, he's getting more in citizens dividends, so he shouldn't bother spending resources to also put him in the books. Exactly. Do a little dance, someone has to come out to investigate. Um, hi, can I join? I love him so much. This is my favorite enemy design so far. I need him. Next time, I'll lead. Rostrum is ready to scuttle on its way. You didn't figure that pun out. Come on, CC. There has to be a way. Why isn't it possible? There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. I do not have a fishing rod, I guess. Oh, the box! The box is guarded! My favorite enemy! Bro, he is like so close to being a Pokemon. Hey, I did something like this attack in Underpuff. <laughs> like, this man is literally like three, is like two steps from being a Pokemon. Regional Dwebble. Bro! I need this now! I need a Regional Dwebble that is exactly this! Pokemon Company, hire Meryl, please. I think it's a Hisui or a Lowland form. Maybe. 
I really don't need to use it right now. This is a box. It's a stupid box. You can put items in, they'll stay there. So you take it out, that is, and then it's not there. And then there are more of these boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff you put in a box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater. That's a lot of text on a broken sign. Abalog. And, eh. Nah. This bergmite really isn't close to an igloo. Every frost term at IC just increases the dopamine in my brain by like 500%. I'm going to be in goddamn you. I'm going to be in fucking Nirvana by the time we leave Sonon. I don't like this attack though. This attack is very uh, brutal. Or Snom. Not really a Snom. I'm already on the concept phase of a Pokemon ROM hack, but I'm, I'm not sure I'll act on it, but Dwebble is now on the list. Good. God, I love Frost Hermit. Can I just get nothing but Frost Hermit this entire time I'm in Snowden? Like, I don't want to see anything else beside Frost Hermit. Like that thing. That's not a Frost Hermit. Recalibrate the Lava Rock puzzle. Check. Is it a Frost Hermit? Then I don't care. Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Bird. It's not a Frost Hermit. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. In all honesty, that is a really cute design. I like her. <laughs> Just upset. Every time I don't have a Frost Hermit. I can die to Frost Hermit like 500 times and I won't care. Whom it may concern. In accordance with Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area of Snowden and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear what they mean by that, just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you just melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking, though. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Well, I was more confident in downloading ROM hacks. Yeah, you do gotta be careful. Blue bird, huh? Indeed. I bet her name is X. One of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Something always has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPBS. I just no realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, every not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall. Love Martlet. Especially if you're human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. I figured it out. If I get stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and I hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPPS. <laughs> I have been informed that the amount of PSs on the sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble they've caused. <laughs> but their name is Martlet. They're cute. <laughs> I did get screwed when I tried getting blue before it, I got it on my DS. On your DS? Is that Twitter? Twitter blue? I'm confused. 3DS? Oh, okay. We're talking about Pokemon Blue then. Alright. <laughs> um, I'll DM you a pl Here, I'm going to do it right now before I forget. I'm going to DM you a place that's... uh To avoid... To avoid that uh, is uh, supposedly a place to obtain... Roms, but uh, don't actually don't actually go there, CC. I'm just I'm just letting you know for like your own avoidance to ensure you don't accidentally break the law. J j just 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 to keep you safe. Absolutely. Why my childhood stand true? Well, I got copies legally. Yeah. And keep doing that. Keep keep getting copies legally. Do do not go, 
do not go to that site that I sent you about. It is very bad. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. All right. I didn't know you could control it. I have to do it multiple times. Gen 1 is... Yeah. I've never actually played Gen 1. But I have little interest too. I did... Bro, there was somebody I knew that just had a copy of Pokemon Silver and they gave it to me. And then I gave it to someone else. And I feel so... I, I, I feel a little stupid for doing that, but at the same time, like, it got them into Pokemon, me giving them that game. So it's not like a total waste, but by God, I wish I had Pokemon Silver still. It's not worth it. The game is just dumb. Fire Red is fine. Yeah, if I ever played Gen 1, I would play Fire Red or Leaping. Love Gen 3 so much as a kid. I grew up with... Uh, I started with Gen 4, as far as mainline Pokemon goes. Technically, the first Pokemon game I played was... Uh, the first Pokemon game I played was uh, Colosseum on the GameCube. And I had no idea what was going on, because it was too stupid to read. Liquid Ice? <laughs> I just noticed that. That's funny. Gen 4 Platinum Base. I started with Diamond. Hey, you. Can you help me off this pole? It's been here for two hours now. We dogs came up and bailed me to lick it. Ugh, cold weather. I'm now stuck. My mom told me to be back in time for month two. This heck. I think I have anything to... I don't think I have anything to melt it. Three dogs stared him too. It was a triple dog. God fucking damn it! <laughs> the writing in this game is perfect. <laughs> it's completely in line with how the game is. The game. Undertale was originally. Let me just swoosh on by and heal. How are you holding up? Things are getting easier. It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. you can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. Dear owners of Dilapidated Cabin. First, I am very sorry your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 42, Paragraph 1, so long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eye stores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but, you know, notice. And take the barrel. Some wood, presumably taken off a dilapidated shack. You notice a blue feather hidden behind it. Need a cup for that water. I assume. A snow castle. Lava? I think I could. Snow castle, how cute. Let's go see. Oh dear. No, never mind. No, oh dear. We'll dance. There he is! The boy! My beloved. Ross Thurman seems to be contemplating hiding again. Don't! Start doing a crab rock dance, Frost Thurman judgment. Next time I'll lead. You can lead any time, Frost Thurman. You can't do any wrong. And if you, if you did wrong, I'd forgive you. You can commit mass murder, it's fine. Fine, Frost Dermot. Switch won't budge anymore. Well, fuck. There goes that idea.
Frost Hermit? Ugh. Not a fucking Frost Hermit. It's something that's not it. If I wasn't doing Pacifist, I'd kill it. Lecture. You insert insomnit taught of the benefits of good night's sleep. It ignores you. Yeah, yeah, don't talk to strangers. Ow, okay. Somnitot catches itself nodding off. Sing. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Um, Somnot looks bored. I see what you're doing. It's not gonna work. Frost Dermot wouldn't have done this to me. You're supposed to dodge the attacks. Remember what I taught you? Welcome back. I lost count. Is this two or three? This is two. That's death number two. Hypnotize, you swing in Somnot's tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy? Somnotot struggles to maintain consciousness. Okay, it's three. Got it. Fuck you, Meryl. I love you, but fuck you. <laughs> Swing and sound knots tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy. Oh, not struggles to maintain consciousness. Yawn. I'm gonna touch struggles to maintain consciousness. How many times? Maybe I need to sing next. Okay, like that song. Okay, so I have to hypnotize it and then that. Got it. <gasps> there it is. What's this, a new customer? I need that. BAM! Who am I? Nobody a note, you know? Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on my mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little someone to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? Yes. No, you don't. God damn it! <laughs> Liquids, so last season. Solids, pa, season before. You wanna be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And you know, haven't you been sitting out in the forest for three weeks? I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15G, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate. Now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. That piqued your interest yet? No thanks. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipping, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Hot pop, lukewarm pop, cold pop. Hot pop. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Feels 14. Piping hot chocolate frozen when reheat. Frozen then reheat. God fucking damn it. Wait, hold on. Reread. Piping hot chocolate, frozen, then reheat it. Okay. So it is hot. Over here. Hello. Maybe some coffee will free my poor tongue. Well. We tried, y'all. <laughs> But well, what's beyond him?
Well, if this is progress. Want to tip on the tongue pole to save you some concern? No. <laughs> if I ever need anything... Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Anyways, if I ever need anything, I'll say so. But for right now, no. I read something in a book once. It said, If life comes at you too fast, press X and take it slow. Whatever that means. Just press X. Oh wait, it's talking about uh it's talking about the that battle. I gotcha. No cone appears to see if you aren't made of fire. You aren't. You're not. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just taking in his design. You're not Frost Dermot. <laughs> You're not Frost Dermot. Uh Educate? You patiently explain the dangers of an open plane. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot melt no cone? No cone not notice. You friend do no cone. No cone has been enlightened. Not Frost Dermot. That is a hell of a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. Oh, God. Matryoshka Dar. Your head hurts too much to keep going. Come on, pussy. Actual pussy. A. It's the best character, Ice Wolf. 238, 239. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. So, about that, buddy. You GPS. Oh boy, oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a mail whale from the Underground Postal Service. Windfish! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that joke, Cece. <laughs> Haven't heard of us. We're the best. For short, just call us Windfish. So I hear you're new to the underground. How you ask, well, word sure gets around. The underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, just find one and give a shout. We assure you they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing, all using mail from your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now I must be off, the mail mustn't be late. See you later on in your journey, mate. What a nice windfish. <laughs> Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? Let's take a look. You don't. What a shame. If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. That's if I keep ringing it. Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? What a shame. Just ring the bell. Okay. I got your game. <laughs> Don't pester them. But you see, if I disrupt the mail service, people will have to talk to each other. <laughs> Colorful. Billy can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to ask, or I don't see why you need him. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a wasting. Also, I should probably look at the mail, huh? Intro letter. Read. Come, new friend, right here to your our space, where you roam or stay in one place. We hope you have friends with fun letters to send, and always a smile on your face. 
Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again, the UGPS. I didn't get the rhythm on that one. Ugh. You have an inbox now. Indeed, I do. Remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for new life. Uh, I can't wait for this to be a undo. Hey, watch it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Would you look at that? If you think this chump wants to pass, swig toast, come over here. Yeah, boss. What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ah. You ain't getting anywhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Damn. Anyway, the name's Refill. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, Sh the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're gonna have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? No, not actually. Calm down, will you? Jeez. We shufflers prefer to sell things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. Ball. <laughs> we'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose, you eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking up what I'm putting down. That makes things easy then. Here we go. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. If my model tracking goes weird, uh, it's because I have my arm up with a pen to keep track. Because I cheat. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. And I'm not sure if our voices are staying consistent every time we talk. <laughs> that must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast, let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to the word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss. The shuffler always keeps the word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You burned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. We'll be on your side if you ever need us. Shufflers always protect the friend, right, boys? Yeah. You got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah. Handle. Heh. <laughs> handle. Yeah, I did that with my eyes. You spreading the word of the Shufflers' reign yet? It's pretty nice knowing you got someone out there, you know? It's just for having to run the gang and run our publicity, too. And remember, if you ever need anything, we'll be here. There's always more monsters than the inconvenience in you get me? Let's be behaving out there, kid. Do the shufflers proud. You might be a scarred tea bag. You're in the shufflers' neighborhood now. You pass through here. You want to get through us. It's a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> Honeydew Resort. North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. Now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps things interesting. Hello there, fireman. Have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a world-renowned gang. But I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting out of the loop. I like that guy's design a lot. 
Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. It's pretty great. Maybe it would be nice if I was fired. <laughs> I'll just go live in the wild and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. Gonna be here a while. Know any good campfire songs? Do you have more dialogue? Maybe I'll check out the band inside. I hear they're pretty kicking. I hope I'm hip enough to appreciate them at least. This is very nice music. Up here. This way to the hot spring. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is symmetrical, but I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left. Everything's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> There's a torch on one side, and on the other. The Feng Shui of this place is terrible. Swimming is great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. Oh, that's pretty up there. This is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I've wanted to come here forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. Wait, I just got an idea. Hold up. Hello! Are you enjoying the warm- Ah, oh, fuck, I missed that. Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. You know this job has a high turnover rate? Crazy, right? Apparently, most monsters don't like having their head lit on fire. But you see my head? That's a natural flame, baby. Best job ever. Anything else he says? I love being a torch. The water is blocked by stairs. Well, there goes that plan. The plan was to melt it in the hot spring or something. Just need one cup, man. Just a single cup. Cup? Not a cup I can take. Do you got a cup? Well, welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. What was that the line? Feels 14 HP. It'll warm you right up. Honeydew coffee. Honeydew pancake. One's with honey syrup. It's shaped like my face. <laughs> so you're the mascot. Uh, that would go great on your hat. Right for 30G, indeed. There you go. I appreciate the offer, but my dad would ground me if I bought items off strangers. That's what he always told me. Don't buy items off strangers. Heh <laughs> heh. Um, well, this resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in, or was it my great-great-grandfather? I, uh -uh. I can't answer this customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. Uh, you, you want to talk? So, uh, more about this place. Our amenities are neat. The honey cooler, a coveted latte machine, oh, and the space heater, that's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chujin. His apprentice helped as well. He worked in the steamworks ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. Always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of these days. I hope it does to you too if you were there, which you weren't. Shut up now. Take a sip of my Zevia one sec. Mm. Uh, you you want to talk? How's business? It's better than ever. 
This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from the forest. Oh god, I don't, I don't think I like those eyes. <laughs> I've already had 13 cups this morning! Alright, yeah, okay. It would really benefit for the game to, um... It would really benefit for the game to have a little, like, you've read this thing. But oh well. The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear their new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... And... Oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. God, literally me. I don't talk about things I like and myself to be an asshole. It's, I expect you to do the same. I'm just doing things to connect and make conversation because I'm bad at it. <laughs> uh. And ironically, I don't mind when people like share stuff about themselves. You're sharing yourself to me. I want you to do that. I want people to talk about themselves. I want people to be happy talking about the things they like. I ain't selfish. It's trying to make a connection. You're bearing your soul to me. Do it. Do it now. Bear all of your souls. Right now. I'm not talking in the Twitch TOS way. That ain't what I'm talking about here. No artistic soul bearing. You got me? There we go. Delve. That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the man. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but the thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. See ya. Thanks for being so kind. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well... Because I come off as stressed, but you know why that is. I have a theory, see? There are just so many things in life to worry about, colon. Work and laundry, and an imminent starvation, and so on, colon. Those are important back home, but here, colon. Still important. Monsters pretend they aren't, though, and you know what that is, colon. Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior, exclamation point. You know how much part I'll have in it, colon? None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Colon. And that's how much you should have, too, exclamation point. This is a nice design. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they used in hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. Eh. Ain't that going from parasocial to just a normal stream viewer? How's it hanging? The name is Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground, perform for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. You here to hear a tune? Sounds good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that lack a little time to themselves. I was about to say, is it just fucking silence? <laughs> that would have been funny. And I talked to this one. What's up? Glad you could stop by for a listen. Mind if I ask you a question? Which are better, minor scales or major scales? Major. Sad. I thought I might find another minor scale fan. Everyone I've talked to likes major scales. Can't be happy all the time, so I need you to switch it up. Well, I got a soul kind of my inner engine, though, I think. I didn't know you were a robot, CC. Confession time. I claim to be a musician, but I know nothing about reading sheet music, scales, intervals, or any of that. That's why I just hit things with six rhythmically for a leaving. God, that's that would be me. Hey, kid. The get-up? I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place, that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. The monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. Metaphorical engine. So you're not Genos? What's a kid like you doing hanging with those wild guys, eh? 
Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> It's funny that I made my design kind of just organic genos. Something I've noticed. Colorful honey, ready for drinking. Yum. Uh, with the second T or the into in. With the second T or int in it. I like that. There's just can I, can I go back through that door? I can. I like that a lot. Whoa, what the fuck? Where am I? How quaint. Several micro froggers are enjoying themselves in their very own hot spring. One of them even brought micro floaties. Another sips its micro coffee and then waits at you. Looks like Honeydew Resort thought of everyone. A beautiful, delicious looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it. Obtain golden coffee. Uh, you do pin use. Wow. The coffee has the weight of your soul, giving you a speed boost for three turns. Half delicious beverage, half transition metal. Smell smells like coffee though. Ugh. And then we have the honeydew coffee. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Feel free to slack off for a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. Alright, let's move some shit over. Whoop. Give me that one back. What is the patch? Come on, let's check out all my items. Like, actually check out all my items. Uh, it's not strong, but it's trustworthy. Oh, okay. That can go in here. All HP, a genuine corn dog with soft, fluffy ears. Sponge cake heals 14. A delicious sponge that doesn't scratch and has two times the absorption. And I've read that one. It would take true bravery to drink something this hot. All right. Moving on. What are you doing back here? The exit's the other way, silly. Let's get going. Don't judge me. I already went over here. I for gore. Frost Dermot, my beloved! Dance with me! Um, hi. Can I join always? Do it again. There we go. Best character in the game. Nobody else comes close. Alright, I'm here to save you. Take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you doing, Crathy? That thing is steaming. I need something hot, but not that hot. I'm going to kill this man. Fine, take the golden coffee. Maybe some warm coffee will feel my poor tongue. I'm at a loss at this point. Maybe he deserves to be stuck there. Trying to think. 
Ain't nothing I can do for it. I guess I'll go to Snowden and see what I can find. I didn't miss anything, right? Was there anything else at the shop? That is frustrating. Need to resort family owned and operated. All travelers are welcome. Hello there. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. It's the burb. It's Twitter. Bridge slippery during snowfall, no running. Royal guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? You want to be a member of the Royal Guard, yes? Here's the uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can't now you can say homemade is charming or whatever, but you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. This is down here. Just a pillow, I guess. No! Oh! Alright, round two. It's iconic. Round three, it's the charm. It, it's the charm. All right, time to actually focus. Round four, uh, there's two equations, both using two two times to get it. Wait for the yellow. God damn it. I'm going to lose my mind. There we go. Ugh. That was a little more difficult than it had to be. Ten steps to the east. Second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was lied to. Try Hecta wobbles forward. Um, climb. You attempt to climb. Try Hecta. Try pushes you away for stepping on them. Be careful up there, okay? Try Hecta. Try Hecta is considering purchasing a long trench coat. All right, I gotta try again. I'm tired of being overlooked. Oops. We be pushing each other's buttons. Hole? Be careful up there, okay? again. <laughs> I told you this would happen. Try Hector regroups and bickers. Try Hector. <laughs> uh. We'll just, uh, we'll just spare him real quick. Next ad is coming up anyways, so we're going to go ahead, pause for right now, and we're going to take another quick break. Y'all go ahead, get yourselves some potentially hot coffee.
If it's that time of day for you, though I know some people uh, get coffee at night, I should know. I have served that to people, but yeah. Y'all go stand up, stretch, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And we gonna be back in just one minute. Bye for now. Yeah, welcome back, every goddamn! I did it again. I'm too anxious to get up and stretch today. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a good break. Uh, we continue our yeehaw journey once more. It's not ten steps. Ten steps to the east, third times. Ten steps to the west, first sign. Steps to the west, second sign. Valuable information. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good time. Take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. Got the coffee bean ammo. Hello? 
that rubber ammo. Oh, wouldn't hurt to equip it. Uh, no, I don't want to drop it. No, <laughs> I pre I pressed the right too many times. Have mercy on me, game. Weapon attack four. There's no way you could eat them, but they might still be of use. Got to quick. Load the coffee beans. Your gum now smells delightful. What's the description for the rubber? A small, safe, non-toxic rubber pellets. Leftovers from this puzzle's construction. Leftovers, gotcha. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright, I see. Let's read the sign for this. To whom it may concern. After building the first ball puzzle, I realized a fail flaw in its design. How is the intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane out of your average monster's eyesight. So if someone saw the puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. In any case, I have created an improved version. A new vertical design. You can see what you're controlling. The parts may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my first instructions back at the first puzzle. If that happens, I'm Martlet, the Underground Royal Guard. Go, go. Fuck. Okay. Work out. Hello? I think I see what I need to do, though. There we go. So nice, you get to do it twice. <sighs> Leave. There we are. Perfect. I'm so good at physics based puzzles. It's because I watched animation versus physics the other day. Really good video, by the way. Go fucking watch it. I posted it in the server. If you haven't watched it yet, it's actually like amazing. I loved it. Wooden bench. Oh, but we're not going to describe the street sign. All right, I see how it is. Howdy. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I would worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you good luck. Just going to check on this, make sure it hasn't, like, cooled down. Ugh. <sighs> Hello. Hello, cute burb. Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? Really, I'm looking for a hot but not too hot cup of coffee right now. But I'll give you a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like the, this guy on this poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. And he was totally human, so like... Transitive property or something like that, right? Actually, I think that he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of them by the time... I'll have plenty of them to blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. I can read, I promise. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I sure hope you are, because I memorized it. Bartlett of Royal Guard has encountered a human. <laughs> Is she the dialogue box? Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Let's see how hard this song goes. I'm already liking it. Attack 8, defense 10, a little scatterbrain. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. 
Gust of wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Martha looks embarrassed. More. Rambling. It doesn't look like she's knows. Uh, I ho ho hold on. I have the guy book on me. I'll check what they do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Go, Martlet. Kick his ass. I'm glad the mod team is already doing what they do for its streamers. <laughs> Ignore. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best Soro guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week, I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. <laughs> Power of silent treatment. Trying to look professional and imposing. Let me rush her. You tap your wrist impatiently. Oh, oh, that kind of rush. I thought we were going to, like, fake attack her. Ah, your roller guard to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2. My attack. Oh, God. Martla is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. It probably isn't. Ignore Martla's rambling. That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard gauntlet. Oh, God. Martla is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. It probably isn't. <laughs> Get rid of the fucking hot pop. That's the sink flavor saying that was once hot. Your HP is maxed out. Ah, yeah. Well, brushing was to start her attacks. I don't think so. Martley is trying to strike a pose that looks professional and imposing. Take this, intruder. Martley has dropped her fighting stance. Whew. This is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. Oh, God. Feathers. Oh. Martlet has dropped her fighting stance. I like that this keeps you down on the ground. That's a nice mechanic. Oh, God. I'm not prepared for the physics. I'm a fraud. Hold on, I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn. I'm going to check the handbook again. All it's like a moon makes you realize how cold it is. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me, per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive, like, What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Do you mind being aggressive like her? Come on, get aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can only make me sad. <laughs> A Royal Guard guidebook. Come on, get aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Insult. You call Martlet a weenie. Aw, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. So much work into that. You aren't making this easy here. Here I go. Protocol and all that. The Royal Guard. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. I, I had enough trouble with this on Jevil's attack. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, nah. You fool. Shut up! I wasn't prepared for the third dimension, okay? Come on. I made a 2D model for a reason, alright? 
3 based Martlet. Shut up. It's still 2D. It was... Faux D. Faux 3D. Fuck off. Was there a GameCube controller in there, or was I imagining that? Uh, take this intruder. Oh, well, second moon makes you realize how cold it is. Pop, pop. Feathers are gonna brush by me and tickle me a little bit. Oh god. She's villager smash, bro. She's trying to drop a fucking bowling ball on me. Oh god, there it is again. Not prepared. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Nervously consulting her royal guard guidebook. Give it another try, I believe in you. You forcibly tell Martley you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, right? Not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. Oh, now I feel bad. Okay, it's my turn. Guess the wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Don't give me that. She asked for it, okay? I can. She consented to having her drip insulted, alright? Alright, it's like she hit the fucking threat redeem. Uh, you hear me? Come on, dig into some deep aggression. Break down my self esteem until it is a pile of metaphorical rubble. Crush my mental health like a bug under your shoe. Wait, do you crush bugs? Oh god. Uh, corn dog. Can't help but feel bad for doing it. You recovered 12 HP. Uh, insult. You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to Royal Guarddom. All nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my Royal Guard discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. God, they even have insurance on the underground, those poor things. Hold on, I'm grabbing another Zevia while she uh, relays her uh, men her personal struggles to me. And I'm just over here sipping some soda. I'm such a good person. Forward, bro, they have a snowball tax. Of course there's insurance rates. God, you're right. Well, you know what they say. Land value tax would solve this. I had to get one in there. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. <laughs> Lest we forget the snow golf game. I got it. If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass Royal Guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. 
Absolutely. <laughs> There's the notebook on the counter tile of my puzzle blueprints. This must be where Martlet's gets us her puzzle ideas. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry I think I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those. By the way, behold, the UG Aviator. In the water sits an old-looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Both are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? Over this way. If my map and memory serve, the server should lead directly to Hotland. From there, it's a hot skip and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. Meryl get married to Martlet. By God, that's what they're that's what they're gunning for. Riz up the bird. I believe in you, Meryl. She's steadily not low on my list. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late, so I know we just met and all. But will you trust me on this? Yay, don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wings, in that case, maybe. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least while I've been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all of my life's work and belongings. But hey, what's life without a low risk? So shall we be off then? Not yet. Oh, you have something to do? I didn't realize you were so busy and popular. That's fine, I'll be here. Take all the time in the world. Actually, I wouldn't mind if you don't take, like, all the time in the world. You want to have time left for the journey, you know? Okay. Um. Check our coffee again. Or I can be your groom. This me he means best man. Shut the fuck up, CC. You'll have time to be back. I will. Look, maybe I just want to be a broom. You ever thought about that, CC? Oh, there, okay, there I go. Wait, hold on. I was supposed to be on Ava with you. Ugh. So, hi. A grip buys his torso and swishes hair and tail on the ground to get dust. <laughs> if you can pick me up, I'm pretty damn heavy, Meryl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm jamming into the music. I got lost. What were we talking about? Marriage or something? Who am I marrying? I'm I'm the one marrying Martlet, right? I'm the one marrying Martlet here, not Meryl. You know, I say that, but Meryl and Martlet like feel like they'd make a great ship name. Marlet, Martel. Actually, I take that back. Both of those suck. <laughs> we never specified what gravity zone. You know, that's a thing I've wanted to look into. How much gravity does Rise exert? But the issue with that is that the, all the gravity equations I've looked up don't involve just a single body. So I'd have to, like, figure out Rise's gravity on Earth. I don't know, man. And they're both blue. That is true. Both of them are blue. <laughs> Also, can I just say, can I just say it right now? Uh, a little, uh, scene, a little scene on a raft. Um, it's reminding me of something. Something very, uh, specific that I'm pulling up right now. I'm just saying that I'm being reminded of something incredibly specific. If I can just dig it up. Uh, right now. I 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm being reminded of something very specific. Just something very specific, that's all. To something I did, some like maybe cool Dragon Man made at some point. Where I'll say, shut the fuck up. Not even considering Emperor's new groove shaking my head. <laughs> I did forget that this happened in Raw in a uh, Delta Rune. But was this made before Delta Rune? Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is that I am saying. And that I come up with nice ideas. Like, that's all. That's all. That's all. Great minds think alike. That's all I'm saying. What did I just do? I think I accidentally got rid of the Christmas. Whoops. Well, it's back now. So everything's fine. Huh. Bro, my back actually hurts right now. I might have to end stream soon. <laughs> Ugh. If Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? Technically, it's rafting. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. Older fellow by the name of Chujin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Also, is the audio all right for y'all? Yeah, it is. I'm looking at the audio levels. Should be fine. This is pretty uh, louder music because I have my headphones turned down, and I'm and I'm like, damn, this is loud. Late to ask that, but yeah, right. I forgot about that. Let me dock that a little bit then. That should be better. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? Okay, now it's literally a questionnaire too. You know who else did that shit? Me. Me, motherfucker. It literally leads into a question in Underpuff. I did it first. <laughs> before Deltarune. Before this. Me. Me, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> For the record, I don't, like, actually care, and I'm not, like, making, like, a big deal about it. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. You made this part secretly? By God, I fucking wish. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Anyways. So secret you don't even remember exactly. They had to wipe my mind. It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Yes, great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Wait, really? I got a three. I've never gotten a three before. Oh my goodly goodness, I can't believe it, I got a three. I have to tell absolutely everyone. Okay, sorry, got it carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. On a scale from 1 to 2, how would you rate the puzzles deployed in Snowden? It's iconic. Well, she was your third death. I'm gonna... See, see, I'm going to feed you your own bone marrow. And I'm gonna set up a mirror so you can watch me do it. That's a joke, by the way. Don't bonk me, Twitch. Thanks. I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. I mean, it's because I got last choice of station, but still. You pick up a few things, guard, and all that science stuff. Anyway, back to topic. Question three. I'll nom on chairs. On scale one to four, how would you rate the auditory ambiance? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a two there, and a three. And a 2.5 here. And a 23. And we're done. 
Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets. It's Clover. What a unique name, I love it. So, Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you. Sales like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view, not a single leak. Aw, you've subbed to Alex. Thank you, Cece. <laughs> I like that people sub to my friends. Oh, uh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. You can just sit back and relax and hey, do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? Well, we are in Waterfall. Is it just me or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it helps us. Uh-oh. Um. I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. Are we going straight to the core? Hey, look, it's Hotland. This is our stop. Wait. We have to dock here. Slow down. Oh, no, 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 no. Dead. Hello, Clover? Are you okay? Oh, no, 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 no. You stay right there. I'll go get help. We are speed. <laughs> we were speed. So we back in the mine. A container bearing a strange symbol. The lid is bolted shut. It's impossible to open. Can I take it with me? Wild left remains of an old chest. You spy a small, dry paper bag cradled in the interior of the lid. Will you take it? You got some trail mix. Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks for that... That guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's gotta be another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough it out for... Oh, and we'll see where this new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Powerful trail mix. How powerful. Heals 13 HP. Everything but the raisins have been picked out. Good, I don't like raisins. A minecart still sits lodged in the ground. You have no idea how this came to be. Empty boxes lie in the dirt. They seem to have been there a long time. Northern caverns up ahead. Bro, the thing that's fucking with me is this is going to end in us losing. This is going to end in us dying. I thought we were about to go into the fucking... I thought we were about to go into fucking Saria's Woods with that music transition. The West Mines, property of Mining Co. We're back home, baby. We're back in Texas. Yeehaw. Well, if he makes a new timeline with his save load powers, he could be Dune Bud. You're not Frost, Dermot. I don't care. You cautiously pat the top of Tune, bud. They seem confused. Ooh! We can make new cannon. Can we, though? Oh, like sandpaper. Shake Doom Bud back and forth. They giggle at you. A wah wah wah. Human begins to gargle a song. One where he meets Kirby. It was Kibi! I named them Kibi, because that was the name of the yellow Kirby in Kirby's Dream Course for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah, uh, shoe? They don't understand. Ooh. We fight Merrills. I'm confuzzled.
Dune bud. What do you want me to do? Dune bud is getting antsy. So am I. Looking for some fun. Okay. There we go. Doom butt is giggling. There we go. It's jiggle then pet. Oh god, there's two of them. That's four. Where's Meryl? Where's Meryl at the counter? No, you're there. Don't act like you ain't. I guess Meryl ain't there right now. CC's doing the death counter for us. Put that five away, CC. Y'all making up deaths on the spot right now. I accidentally started hitting control. What the hell? Alright, that's cute. Oh god! That is a creative attack. I like that a lot, actually. You have a watch. If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is. Mail time. Mail time. You received mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Mo letter. If you're reading this, it means you had the pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not going to believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. I know what you're saying. I would gladly pay full price for your products, but I appreciate that. Really, I do. Well, this ain't the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where's my stand? I don't even know myself. Should probably go find that. Good luck, Mo. Uh, bro, you sign up. You sign up for one credit card and then you're just bombarded. Just like that. Dune bud, buddy. Like, you're cool and all. You're kind of cute. You got some creative attacks. Most creative I've seen yet. Okay, a stationary arrow hurts me. Alert, warning sign ahead. Danger sign ahead. Danger sandstorm ahead, take cover. Look at that guy down there. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There's no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't wrap me out, okay? 
This is my TNT, okay? And steal from my brother at the mines, okay? This X was here before I arrived, okay? <laughs> Getting kind of sleepy? Yeah, I am. A little bit. We'll pro Once we hit, a, like, another save point or something, we'll probably call it. Because next ad will probably show up before then. Can't stand storm the sandstorm. Glad there's no enemies during this. <laughs> I love that. So hot. I got baited. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hmm. I love how that he's the cause of the sandstorm. And there's the save point. Hattie, strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? And we great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. Oh, I... Oh, oh, my back, my neck, my back, mm, my back and my back. All right, bleh. All right, we're going to call it there for tonight. I'm going to go ahead, close that up, and then we're going to transition back to here. Stretch. All righty. All righty, I'll do another, I'll do a quick stretch real quick. Hold up. Eh. Eh. Oh. What is he doing? He's not in the right spot. Fix him. Save him. There we go. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the Christmas real quick and then we're gonna go find someone to raid. Good night, Rise. Don't go don't say good night yet. I'm about I'm about to give you free channel points for just sticking around for five seconds. At the bare minimum for you. But I know who we're going to raid. We're going to go ahead and we're going to raid. Oh, we're going to Vesmera. Gotcha. Ugh. Will do, will do. Vesmera. Wait. Oh, Ves. Oh, I love Vess. We're gonna go... Well, I mean, I've never watched Vess, but, like, as a person, I like Vess. I'm totally down to raid her. 100%. <laughs> Fitting because Burb as well. Let me pull her up on another tab as well. Yeah, I'm more than happy to raid Vess. Alright. Go ahead, do this. But yeah, Vess is like a mute, uh, Harpy VTuber. And she's very sweet. She's in uh she's in Junie's community. And she's she's cool. She's cool. Vez is really cool. And yeah, I'm more than happy to rate her. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up real quick. And uh as for next week, I hope y'all are excited because we're gonna be doing a marathon of Saints Campaign in Rain World all three days next week. So y'all go ahead and look forward to that. I'm probably going to suffer because it's Rain World. Or maybe I'll get it done really quickly. Who knows? I've kind of cemented myself as some kind of Rain World god. So, it is what it is. But, yeah. Uh, Y'all go ahead and show Vess some good love. She absolutely deserves it. She's very, very sweet. <laughs> if you like if you like the little... Uh, I completely forgot the name. I, for I completely forgot the name of the bird girl. Yeah, but if you liked her, you'll probably like her design. So, yeah. <laughs> There's not much for me to say here, though. Y'all go ahead. Go give her some love. Uh, and y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one.